The search window. The search window is comprised of the command line, a place to enter words you wish to search for or a verse you wish to navigate to. And secondly, the results verse list, the location where your search results will display after conducting a search. When the program is newly installed, search results will not appear in the search window until you conduct a search. Now let's explore how to use the command line. The command line is used to accomplish many of your basic tasks in BibleWorks. You can access the command line by hitting the escape key on your keyboard or using your mouse to click within the command line so you have a blinking cursor. One function of the command line is to quickly navigate to new books, chapters, and verses in the Bible. For example, if we wish to navigate to Exodus 1.1, we can type the first three letters of Exodus 1, use a colon or even a blank space between the chapter and verse number, and hit enter on our keyboard. If you wish to display more than one verse at a time, you can type the book name. Again, we'll use EXO for Exodus, a space, one, a space, then one through five, then hit enter. The browse window now displays Exodus one, one through five, and each of the display versions that appear there. If you wish to display a whole chapter, you can type within the command line the book name and just the chapter number, then hit enter. And the browse window will display the chapter in all the browse window display versions. The command line uses one version for searching in BibleWorks. You can check which search version you're using in several different locations. One, in the command line versions button. Also in the browse window header. And on the status bar. There are several ways to change your search version. There's a menu option under search called choose search version. In the choose search version window, Use the scroll bar to navigate to the version that you wish to set as your search version. Then click on it and your search version will be changed to that particular version. Now any search you conduct will find all instances of that word in that particular search version. You can change your search version in BibleWorks from the main menu by clicking on search and choose search version. However, it is also easy to change your search version from the command line by clicking within the command line and typing the three letter version abbreviation that you wish to search in and hit enter. I've typed in BGM and now my search version has changed to the BGM. Occasionally, you may find that two different versions appear in the command line versions button. The version to the left is your current search version, and the version to the right, following the forward slash, is the version that is used to display the current search results and the results verse list. The command line has a means to distinguish whether you wish to enter a command to search for a verse or to enter a command to search for a word. For example, when we want to navigate to the book of John, we can type the word John and then type the chapter and verse. Or if we wish to search for the name John in our current search version, we need a control character to precede the word John. The most common control character is the period. To search for a word, enter a period on the command line, 
and then type the word that you wish to search for and hit enter. A period is used to conduct an AND search in which any words typed after the period are required to occur in each verse of the search results. A forward slash is the control character for an OR search, where if you type the words faith and works, you'll find any verse that includes either faith or works. And if you wish to conduct a phrase search, use a single quote mark and type out the phrase that you wish to search for. Then hit enter and you'll find all instances where that phrase occurs. There are a number of places where you can find help for your work with the command line. For example, if you right click on the command line and choose code insertion buttons, you'll see that a number of buttons appear below the command line. These buttons may be used to enter in your control characters and also to indicate what each control character does. You can also hold your mouse cursor over the command line and hit the F1 key on your keyboard that gives you a number of command line examples. Notice the checkboxes. These checkboxes can be checked or unchecked and then with a the right click menu option under checkbox options, you can choose to delete all checked and pare down your results if needed or allow you to export only a portion of your search results. If you right click in the results first list, there are also a number of list box content options. You can choose to show the entire verse wrapped to view the content of a whole verse in the results verse list. The tools button gives you easy access to a number of additional BibleWorks tools, and the Copy button gives you options for exporting your search results and verses to the clipboard or other locations. If you wish to set search limits, you can click on Search, Set Search Limits, and the Search Limits window offers a number of options for limiting your search to particular books, or even to a custom search range. As you use BibleWorks in the search window, always be aware of your current search version. The Command Line Versions button is a key indicator of your current search version.